In my last video, I showed that the Zionists are trying to buy TikTok, but has anyone looked at who brought the bill in the first place and who pays him? Because I just did. Here, check this out. This is the bill right here. Representative Mike Gallagher. That would be this charming devil right here. And if we look at his top contributors for this election cycle, Palantir and Google are at the top with $44,000 and $40,000. But right there, that's APAC with $17,000. But wait, there's more. We're gonna switch this to the last election cycle in 2022 and scroll down. And would you look at that? His top contributor that got him elected in 2022 was APAC with $44,000 contribution. If you didn't know, that's the American Israeli Public Affairs Committee, the Zionist lobby group that doesn't need to register as a foreign agent because they refuse to. So just to clarify, the TikTok ban bill was introduced by a guy whose some of his top contributions are coming from the Zionists and from Google and Palantir, top tech companies associated with the CIA and Mossad. And now Mnuchin's trying to buy it, and ever since he stopped being Treasury Secretary for Trump, his business model is basically just ally with as many Zionists as humanly possible. People like David Friedman, people like the ex-chief of Mossad, Yossi Cohen, getting board seats on companies like Cyber Reason, an Israeli tech cyber company, which it's worth noting also has a Google person on their board, as well as Lockheed Martin. I mean, I'm speculating here. These are not facts, but it's looking more and more like the Israel lobby is the one that brought the bill. And now it's looking like Zionists are lining up to buy TikTok. Can't imagine why. And if you can't imagine why, here's an audio from the chief of the ADL, the Anti-Defamation League, that might enlighten you as to why. Are you getting the picture yet? Because I got a picture that might help you. And I just want to remind you that pro-Palestine content on TikTok is some of the most censored content there is. And despite that, this is the data from TikTok. No one on TikTok is trying to support Israel. Everyone on TikTok is trying to support Palestine. Mr. Greenblatt is right. The Zionists have a huge, uh, sorry, a major, major, major TikTok problem. And they should probably start devoting all of their energy towards this. You feel me? But what do I know? I'm just some dude in his living room. I bet the government's telling us the truth. I bet it's all about China.